Welcome back to LRC. It's been a while since I've spoken something to do with cinema and uh, apart from doing a couple of reviews, of course. This is going to be the first of my sessions about somebody who's behind the camera. And uh, it's just incidental that the person I'm going to be talking about today is somebody who's not only in front of the camera, but also behind the camera. I'm talking about the five all-time great male singers of Hindi cinema. Excuse me, this generation. Excuse me, contemporaneity. That all the five singers I choose are up there somewhere. Does it mean that today's singers aren't to be listed among the top in the country? Are they not very talented? I'm not make, and I'm not going that road. I believe that these five singers have stood the test of time. And contemporary singers can't be tested under the denominator of time. So maybe it is the thermometer that is not working on them. Therefore, none of them are coming here. They're amazing singers. Ubit Narayan comes to my mind. Sonu Nigam comes to my mind. Shankar Mahadevan. What talent. And uh, I'm sure there are a lot of other singers who I'm not naming right now. But all the five I'm naming are singers who are no longer alive and whose body of work is so solid. If somebody is not a fan of these singers, it's probably because they've not heard enough, they've not been acquainted with the body of work, or have no basic uh, year for old film music. I'm going to start off with the, f of the five, at number one I'm placing, and I'm not placing them as the best of uh, the runners up, you know. I'm starting off with uh, arbitrary numbering and starting off with the senior most of them all. What is singer? The real first superstar singer. Not surprising, he sang for himself. Unfortunately, died before he could see a free India. He was born in Jammu on April 11, 1904, makes him an Indian. His father was a Tehsildar at the court of the Maharaja Pratap Singh of Jammu and Kashmir. His mother, Kesarbai, was a deeply religious Hindu lady who would take this little boy for the bhajans, the kirtans, the etc. And he had acquaintance with the traditional styles of Indian classical music. In fact, he occasionally even played the sitar at the Ram Leela at Jammu. Later, he moves <coughs> to becoming a typewriter salesman with Remington, then moves out from there to Lahore, and from Lahore, he meets up with this friend who's called Meher Chand Jain, to whom the singer I'm talking about, Kundan Lal Saigal, says he held all his success on a plate at the doorstep of this friend Meher Chand Jain. He started participating in the Mehfile Mushairas, then came to Kol Kolkata, Calcutta as he that was, to run up into R.C. Bural, another great music uh, film giant from Bengal. Then he was hired by B.C. Sarkar for new theaters on a salary of rupees 200, which is not even probably the tips today's uh, music singers would leave behind one afternoon after having coffee in a coffee club. Uh, he did, his first film had a role in a film called Mohabbat Ki Aansu. He acted in cinema for a long time, followed by Subhaka Sitara and Zinda Lash, all released in 1932. They didn't do well when he went around with his name as Sayagal Kashmiri. 
स्टेटस को एंटीर स्टोर ही बिकेम कुंदन लाल सेगन वेन ही स्टार्टेड डूइंग फिल्म लाइक याहूदी की लड़की इन नाइनटीन थर्टी थ्री फोर बजन ऑफ साइगल बिकेम एक्सट्रीमली पॉपुलर एंड देन याहूदी की लड़की चंडी दास रूप लेखा कारवाए हयात ऑल स्टार्टेड ब्लूमिंग अनाउंसिंग टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ वॉट ग्रेट टैलेंट दिस म्यूजिक the singer was then came the drunken role that in a way made kundan lal saigal a name hold a household name across but unfortunately undid him too was that uh, living the role what kind of acting do you call that because it was devadas probably that introduced him to the bottle which he took with him and it took him with kundan lal saigal died because of his alcoholism he did some amazing films bhakt surdas tansen my sister what films i'm going to give you just a very few songs that come to me that i must mention nain hai ko raah dikal ke prabhu किधर है तू बाल माए आंसू दैट ब्रिलियंट मैं क्या जानू क्या जानू रे बाल माए आंसू सोजा राजकुमारी एक बंगला बने न्यारा अंधे की लाठी अपनी हस्ती में मैं क्या जानू दिया जला जब दिल ही टूट गया एंड दैट ब्रिलियंट बाबुल मोरा ओ विच अ वंडरफुल ट्रिब्यूट Kanu Roy is going to do much later in the great backdrop of his film Abishkar but Kundan Lal Saigal was not the background the resonant voice the brilliant singer the cult about whom all the later singers at some point in time were in awe of and an entire generation of singers great as they were at some point did follow ne copy ne adapt ne learn from this great singer kundan lal segal he never can stay back but his songs which said soja raj kumari is a lullaby for all times to come mai kya janu kya janu de kundan lal segal at number आसमान पे आसमान पे उड़ने वाले मिट्टी में मिल जाएंगे कसमे वादे प्यार वफा सब बातें हैं बातों क्या क्या कोई किसी का नहीं ये झूठे नाते हैं बातों का क्या कसुने वाले प्यार वफा सब बाते हैं बातों का क्या वॉट अ सिंगर बॉन मे फर्स्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटीन डाइड October 24 2013 I'll just give you a small list of the kind of awards that he collected in his way as a brilliant singer It included national awards for the song Janak Janak Pail Baje from Mere Huzoor Nishi Padma Bengali Hey bhai zara dekh ke chalo from Mera Naam Joker same song for which he won the best film fair award japan france awards for excellence in music the padma shri the award instituted in the name of lata mangeshkar shamal mitra pc chandra kamal devi roy a dilet from rabindra bharati institute jadavpur university and cambridge 
lifetime achievement by the government of Maharashtra, government of West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, Padma Bhushan 2005, Filmfare Lifetime Achievement 2011, and Padma Vibhushan in 2012, a year later, in the evening of an October, he passed away sang with the lights of Krishna Chandra Ray, Shankar Roy, for music directors including Bharat Vyas, Anil Bishwas. Anil Bishwas, incidentally, once believed Mohammad Rafi couldn't sing. S.D. Burman, Kim Chan Prakash, Vasan Desai, Salil Chaudhary, Roshan, Rajesh Roshan, Lakshmi Kan Parlal, Kalyanji Anandji, Shankar Jaikishan, R.D. Burman, Sri Ram Chandra, Bappi Lahari, Ram Lakshman, Sonik Omi, Jayadev, Hemanda, Naushad, Ravi, Tripathi, S. N. Tripathi, Hussain Lal Bhagatram, Sapan Jagmohan, and yes, S. Rajeshwar Rao, too. He made his debut in a film in 1942, Jago Aye Usha Punchi Bole. Obviously, it was a Bengali song. What really caught him a lot of attention was Upar Gagan Bishwal, which he did for Sachin Dev Barman. And from there, he's done over 4,000 songs till 2013 sang alongside some great voices, Amir Bhai, Meena Kapoor, Raj Kumari, Shamshad, Begum Mubarak, Begum Suraya, Geeta Dutt, Asha Bosle, Usha, Mangeshkar, Sudha Malhotra, Binak Chatterjee, Sabita Banerjee, Suman Kalyanpur, and of course, Lata Mangeshkar. Sang 101 songs with Muhammad Rafi. Sang many songs with Kishore Kumar, including a very, very popular song that all of us know. Eka Chaturuna Arubadi Hoshi Then he's done some trio songs with Kishore and Rafi. Like uh, Tujme Ishwar, Tujme Allah for a film called Nana Farishta and Band Mutti in Chalti Kanam Gadi. Give me some more songs of the great singer. Yashomati Maya, Lakshmi Kant Parallel, Satyam Shivam Sundaram, Ye Dosati Hamnehi Chodenge, R.D. Barman, Shode, Eka Chaturuna Padosan. Tu pyaar ka saagar hai, kas me vaade pyaar wafa tum baate hai, baatoon ka kya upkaar. Aja sanam madur chandani me hum, zindagi kaisi hai paheli fasalil da. Tujse suraj kahun, tujhe suraj kahun ya chanda, tujhe deep kahun ya tara, ek pool do mali for Balraj Sahani, for whom he gave that brilliant emery Zohar Zabi. Then, ye raat bhigi bhigi, pyaar hua, ikrar hua, emery Zohar Zabi. Dil ka haal sunane wala, tu hi amar putul putul, dil ki girah chhod do, nadia chale chale re dhara, aaj asanam madur chandini me hamo, the list can go on endlessly. His repertoire. People went to him every time when they wanted a pure classical song. That was his niche area. This notwithstanding, look at the lighter songs he sang. And strangely, I'm going to give you five of my best of his. They include Shankar Jai Kishan, film Basant Bahar, Sur Na Saje Kya Gaon Mein. Then there is from S.D. Burman's home, Meri Surat Teri Aankhe, Poochho Na Kaise Meri Rayan Bitae. Then amazing, this song, I recommend to everybody, please reach out and listen to what Manate's voice can be in this film where the music director is an extremely talented Raghunath Seth. The song from the film Pirbi, Kyum Pyala Chalakta Hai. There is, of course, that extremely popular, very, very well known Laga Chunari Me Daag Chupaun Kaise for Roshan in the film Dil Hi To Hai. My all time favorite of Manade. In fact, it would rate among the five all-time great Hindi film songs, if I have to choose them, is from a film called Avishkar. The music director is Kanu Roy, and the song is Hasne ki chahne kitna mujhe rulaya hai, manade, in the love to the listening of your melody. How many tears have we left behind? How much of nostalgia have you left behind in that great storehouse? which has a small title, Mannade. Chanchal, Sheetal, Nirmal, Komal, Sangeet ki Devi, 
स्वर सजनी चंचल शीतल निर्मल कोमल संगीत की देवी स्वर सजनी दिस वॉज द लास्ट सॉन्ग ऑफ अ मैन हु सीम्ड टू बी द हार्ट and the voice of every broken heart of the 60s 50s and the 70s in fact an entire generation of youngsters adolescents wanted to lose partly in love just to hum the melody and the melancholy the sorrow and sadness and above all that voice the choice at number 3 is mukesh a singer whose melodies to this date stand out as a niche in itself as somebody who great musicians went when they wanted not a few pages not a lot of tears but just 3 minutes of music and convey a whole saga of sorrow and suffering they went just to mukesh strangely from among the many nominations that he won it's a light hearted song in rajni ganda kai baar yu hi dekha hai that won him the national award <clears throat> for the best male playback singer he was the ghost voice for people like raj kapoor manoj kumar firoz khan sunil dutt and dilip kumar i'm going to talk about this later his parents father zorabar chan mathur an engineer and mother chandrani mathur had 10 children of whom mukesh was child number 6 <clears throat> in fact mukesh's uh, music teacher used to come home to teach his sister sundari priya but found a good student in mukesh he began when motilal a distant relative of his noticed his voice when he sang at motilal's wedding and got him over to mumbai for singing and he got singing lessons from pandit jagannath prashad during this period he was offered a role as an actor singer in a film called nirdosh his first song dil hi bujha hua to as an actor singer is from the film nirdosh he got his break as a playback singer for actor motilal in 1945 with his first film pehli nazar where the music was composed by anil bishwas the first song that he sang dil jalta hai to jalne de it is said that i believe kundan lal saigal once heard the song and said i don't remember to have sung the song so close was mukesh's dil jalta hai to jalne de to the brilliance of kundan lal saigal initially that i said i'll come back on uh, raj kapoor dilip kumar mukesh if you see films like andaz andaz has four mukesh songs and one mohammad rafi song all the four mukesh songs are on dilip kumar and the one mohammad rafi song is on raj kapoor similarly if you look at films like uh, madhumati there are songs suhana safar aur ye mausam haseen dil tadap tadap ke two songs in madhumati Mukesh sings for Dilip Kumar there's only one song that Rafi sings for Dilip in Madhumati but later on <coughs> Mukesh became the ghost voice of Raj Kapoor and uh, most on this later and Mohammad Rafi became the ghost voice of Rafi sir there's yet another interesting anecdote when the film Sathi was made uh it's common knowledge that Rajendra Kumar always had this uh hangover of wanting to do a dilip kumar so he wanted very particular that there must be the piano there must be rajendra kumar there must be nausha then there must be mukesh unfortunately the film though it had all of this it didn't make it big at the box office the songs of course were great but uh, mukesh sings for rajendra kumar on the insistence of nausha in two films one of them being sati the other is gora or kala where <coughs> there is the song dheere dheere bol koi sunna le and there's another song which mukesh sings for rajender kumar 
बट साथ ही मेरा प्यार भी तू है ये बाहर भी तू है एंड uh, जो चला गया उसे भूल जा ऑल दी सॉन्ग्स आर मुकेश फॉर राजेंद्र कुमार मुकेश रिसीव द बेस्ट नेशनल अवार्ड फॉर आई सेट कई बार यूं ही देखा है His film fair awards. I have something very sad as a historian. Somebody who's looking at Mukesh's uh, work. While he gets sab kuch sikha, humne nasi ki hoshiyari anadi. Of course, a brilliant lilt and an award-winning song. <clears throat> The other three songs for which he gets awards, all of them Shankar Jaikishan. सबसे बड़ा नादान इन पहचान जय बोलो बेमान की इन बेईमान आई डोंट थिंक दीज सॉन्ग्स शुड वुड रिमाइंड एनी बडी ऑफ द ब्रिलियंस ऑफ मुकेश बिकॉज दो सॉन्ग्स डू नॉट रियली डिजर्व अवार्ड्स इन द मुकेश स्टैंडर्ड एंड कैटेगरी स्टार्टेड इज करियर एज एन एक्टर आई टोल्ड यू सो इज डन फिल्म विद नलनी जायवन हिज सेकेंड फिल्म वॉज आदाबर्स ही इज ऑल्सो प्लेड एन स्मॉल कैमियो इन द फिल्म आ which has its parallels with uh, dev das and the last scene if you see the film uh, raj kapoor is going in a cart uh, and he is going to die in the cart on his way to meeting nargis and the song the cart is uh, the guy who runs the cart is mukesh uh, mukesh uh, died of a heart attack on 27th august 1976 in detroit Michigan USA he was rushed to a hospital where he died of a massive heart attack i said i will come back to raj kapoor when mukesh died raj kapoor said i have lost my voice what a loss to indian cinema that when a man who cinema on all its grandeur was somewhere so much indebted to the music to the voice of mukesh said i have lost my voice that was mukesh some brilliant songs you may have from waqt waqt karta hai jo wafa dil ne pukara wafa jin se ki bewafa ho gaye pyar ka sang pyar ka sagar vishwas chand chand ki deewar na todi mere toote hue dil se koi aaj na puche chhaliya जिस दिल में बसा था प्यार तेरा सहेली दोस्त दोस्त ना रहा ओ महबूबा ओ महबूबा संगम दीवानों से ये मत पूछो उपकार कोई जब हमारा हृदय तोड़ दे पूरब और पश्चिम हिमालय की गोद में मैं तो एक खाब हूँ इस खाब से तो प्यार न कर ओ एंडलेस एंडलेस सॉन्ग्स बट आई एम गोन साइन ऑफ मुकेश विद माई फाइव फेवस ऑफ मुकेश while mukesh has sung singularly the largest number of songs for kalyan for shankar jikshan and the second highest for kalyan ji anand ji in my five let's see who breaks and gets more at five i have kalyan ji anand ji strange that the dashing romantic macro hero was making his debut in this film and this melancholic song is on him dharmendra muchko is raat ki tanhai mein aawaz na do from the film dil bhi tere hum bhi tere this is a lovely tandem lata mangeshkar has it separately sung and sung separately by mukesh muchko is raat ki tanhai mein aawaz na do आवाज न दो आवाज न दो एट फोर अखेन कल्याण जी आनंद जी चांद आहे भरेगा फूल दिल थाम लेंगे चांद आहे भरेगा फूल दिल थाम लेंगे हुसन की बात चली तो सब तेरा नाम लेंगे द फिल्म फूल बने अंगारे इट्स ऑन राजकुमार एट नंबर थ्री गोइंग अप द लैडर इज अ सॉन्ग विच आई एम नॉट टू डेयर 
-hmm. hum before you. It's based on the rag Shivaranjani. Shankar Chaikishan gives it everything. If you can't get over Shankar Chaikishan, what will you do with Raj Kapoor on screen? And if you can't get over Raj Kapoor singing this song with his brilliance, both as an actor and as a director, and the backup of Shankar Chaikishan, look at what Mukesh does in Jane Kahan Gay Vodin. This is one of the old time great songs of Indian cinema. Jane Kahan Gay Vodin, Shankar Jaikishan, Mukesh, for Raj Kapoor in Mira Naam Joker. The last two songs, unfortunately, my favorite songs are, uh, unfortunately is not for my favorite, unfortunately are not very, very popular songs. At number four is a song from a film. The music director was dancing. Wo tere ka gham. Ek bahana ka sanam Apne kismat hi kuch aisi thi Ke dil toot gaya The film is My Love. The music director was dancing. It is picturized on Shashi Kapoor. The song, Wo Tere Pyaar Ka Ghum from the film my love, my all time favorite. And this is a song that I rated among my all time three best Hindi film songs. Strangely in that list someday when I do my five best Hindi film songs, how tough that is going to be, I don't know. But uh, I once did this long, long ago and I placed this song at number three. When I revisit the premise, I don't know whether it will get the positioning, but what a song from Mukesh for Salil Chaudhary, picturized on Anil Dhawan. Nain hamare saanj satare Dekhe laakho sapne Sach ye kabhi Honge ya nahi, koi jane na, koi jane na, na. Anna Dada, Salil Chaudhary and Mukesh give you this nostalgic, tear-filled song on the dying of a man's dreams, Nain Hamare. My five all-time great numbers of Mukesh. It is often said that there's always a streak of the bizarre in a genius. And film law is full of stories of the crazy acts of the singer, actor, music director, filmmaker, a man of immense talent. And placing him at number two in this list, his variety, his range is amazing. And his pull at the box office in the golden era was an amazing story in itself. Born as Abhas Kumar Ganguly, 4th August 1929, at the young age of 58, he died in 1987 on October 13. But before he died, look at the languages in which he sang, Bengali, Marathi, Assami, Gujarati, Kannada, Bhojpuri, Malayalam, and Urdu. He sang private albums. He won eight Filmfare Awards. I'll come to that later. It's a record he shared with Lata Mangeshkar. He won the Lata Mangeshkar Award by the Madhya Pradesh government in 85, 86. 
In 1997, the Madhya Pradesh government in initiated an award called the Kishore Kumar Award. In 2012, released the longest, last song was sold for 1.56 million. One song was sold for 1.56 million at the Ossian Cine Fan Auction in New Delhi. Kishore was the youngest of four siblings. He had a sister in Sati Devi. His other brothers, we all know, Anup Kumar and Ashok Kumar. During his initial stages, like many and every proverb singer, he was largely influenced by Kundan Lal Saigal, and that is where perhaps he gives him an ode in a couple of songs, Dhire Se Jana Bagi Katiyan Me Obhavara. Sang over 1,600 film songs. Now, this looks like some kind of a Virat Kohli or a Sachin Tendulkar record. In his later career, he was heavily influenced by a singer called Ahmed Rashdi, and at the Royal Albert, Albert Hall, paid tributes to him by singing many of his own songs. An interesting story that he sings a song, Aake Sidi Lagi Dil Pe, Aake Sidi Lagi Dil Pe, from a film called Half Ticket. The music director was Salil Chaudhary, and the duet was to be done by Kishore Kumar and Lata Mangeshkar to be picturized on Pran and Kishore Kumar. Lata Mangeshkar, for some reason, was not available on the day for the shooting. We don't know why, how, what happened. So Salil Chaudhary was worried. But even while Salil Da was thinking, Kishore had an answer. He sang both the versions of Lata Mangeshkar and Kishore Kumar in this interesting duet, which is quite popular on YouTube. You can see it from the film Half Ticket, picturized on Kishore Da with Pran. S.D. Burman recorded Kishore's voice for Devanand in Munimji, Taxi Driver, House Number 44, Fantush, Naudogara, Paying Guest, Guide, Jewel Thief, Prem Pujari, Tere Mere Sapne. Chalti Ka Naam Gadi, then there was uh, the famous Mana Janab Ne Pukara Nehi from Paying Guest, Ham He Rahi Pyaar Ke Naudogara, Ay Mere Topi Palat Kea, Fantush, which many people think was done by uh, Beta Burman. Ek Ladki Bhigi Bhagi Si, oh, so many all time great songs. He acted in films, composed music, films like Durga Rahi, Durga Gagan Ke Chao Me, and who can forget My Hun Jum 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 Jumru, Bakkaru Gungum Banke Gungru. In the 70s and throughout the 80s, he became the voiced, most sought after voice. The song Mere Sapno Ki Rani changed the life of Rajesh Khanna, changed the whole concept of playback singing moved drastically from the hitherto Mughal of music, Mohammed Rafi to Kishore Kumar. Dharmendra, Rajesh Kanna, Amitabh Bachchan, Jitendra, Sanjeev Kumar, Devanand, Rajendra Kumar, Shashi Kapoor, Mithun, Vinod Kanna, Dilip Kumar, Shami Kapoor, Randhir Kapoor, Rishi Kapoor, Rajiv Kapoor, Aditya Panchuli, Nasiruddin Shah, Sanjay Dutt, Sunny Diol, Anil Kapoor, Rakesh Roshan, Pran, Sachin, Vinod Mehra, Rajni Khan, Chanki Pandey, Kumar Gaurav, Sanjay Khan, Firoz Khan, Kunal Goswami, Govinda, Chaki Shroff. Where did I stop? But he was the good voice for a man for whom he sang 245 songs, Rajesh Khanna, across 92 films, which is an unbeaten record of a single actor combination. Interesting, because I don't think even Raj and Mukesh have done so much together. He's done 202 for Jitendra, 119 for Devanand, and 131 for Amitabh Bachchan. Worked with a variety of music directors, including the Burmans, Hayam, Lakshmikant Paralal, Kalyanji Ananji, Salim Chaudhary, Kalyanji Ananji, Kai Ke Paan, Banaras Wala, Rajesh Roshan, Sapan Chakrabarti, Bappi Lari. Interestingly, during the 75-77, refused to sing on radio because of a tiff he had with Sanjay Gandhi. In 1996, nine years after his death, the song Sala Meto Shahab Ban Gaya, which was used partly for the film Bairag, was also used for Raja Hindustani on Amir Khan. He had four wives in his life. The first was Ruma Guha, whose son is Amit Kumar, the singer. The second wife, a marriage that ended in the death of Madhubala, which ended with the death of Madhubala, 
The third, he married Yogita Bali, the present wife of Mithun Chakrabarti. They had a very short marriage. And of course, he left behind as a widow, Lina Chandravarkar, with whom he has one son, Sumit Kumar. He, his uh, Filmfare Awards, I was telling you, include Roop Tera Mastana for Sachin Dev Burman in the film Aradhana, Dilaisa Kisi Ne Mera Toda on the Bengal star Uttam Kumar in the film Amanush Shamal Mitra was the music director, Kai Ke Paan Bana Raswala Don Kalyanji Ananji, Hazar Rahe Mud Ke Je Dekhe, Khayam in Thodi Sibe Vafai, then it's surprising. Gulzar, Panchamda, and Kishore have given us a whole body of music. But it is Khayam Gulzar's Hazar Rahe Jo Mud Ke Dekhe Kahi Pe Koi Saza Na Pai that Kishore Kumar gets a Filmfare Award. Pag Gunguru Band Meera Nachi from Namakalal, Agar Tum Na Hote, Rahul Dev Barman, Gulshan Babra for the film Agar Tum Na Hote, then Manzane Apni Jaga Sharabi for Bappri Lahari, again picturized on Amitabh Bachchan and that lovely song, again R. D. Barman, that brilliant picturization, the ever gorgeous Dimple Kaparia on screen and who could lip sync better for a good singer like Kishore Kumar, Rishi Kapoor, Sagar Kinare from the film Sagar. I'll sign off on Kishore Kumar telling you what would be my five favorites. At five, it would be a pic song picturized on Amitabh Bachchan, music director Rahul Dev Barman, film Manzil, the song Rim Jim Gire Savan, a song which is an anthem for a very good friend of mine on his caller tune for a, more than a decade for Shiva. At four, Lakshmi Kant Pyare Lal. This is the pre-Aradhana Kishore Kumar. He was not seen as a great arrived singer. He was singing even for big great films and songs. What a song. Ajnabi Tum Jane Pehchani Se Lagte Ho from the film Hum Sab Ustad Hai. Seen as a great arrived singer. He was singing even for big great films and songs. What a song. Ajnabi Tum Jane Pehchani Se Lagte Ho from the film, Hum Sab Ustad Hai. At number three, again Lakshmi Kant Pyare Lal, again not a very big film, Mr. X in Bombay. Mere mehboob khaya mat hogi Aaj rusua teri galiyon mein mohabat hogi At number two, now this is a surprise choice. Most people who know me will not even imagine that this song is going to get into my all time five list. It, the music director is Bappi Lahri. The film was a super flop after the great filmmaker had given us Sholay. The film was Ehsas. The song, Sapno Ke Shahar. not a very popular song. Search for it and hear it out. Brilliant Kishore Kumar rendition. And my best. It's a Kishore Kumar rendition for a Kishore Kumar music for a film directed by Kishore Kumar and the song is picturized on Ashok Kumar. Panti hu mein us pat ka anth nahi jis ka Panti hu mein us pat ka अंत नहीं 
जिसका आस मेरी है जिसकी दिशा आकार मेरे मन का पंक्ति हूँ मैं उस पथ का जस्ट करेक्शन The song is picturized on Kishore Kumar and not on Ashok Kumar. There's a lovely other song in the same film which is on Ashok. Panti Hu Mein Us Pat Ka is my all-time favorite song of Kishore Kumar, an all-time great singer, actor, brilliant cinema person, Kishore Kumar. It's a trite point to do debate who is a greater singer, Kishore or Rafi. Who was most successful, Rafi or Kishore? Who had a greater range, Kishore or Rafi? Who was more versatile, Rafi or Kishore? Mute, trite debate, mute point. They were two, both brilliant singers. I think you don't give reasons for choices when they are from your heart. And to me, it is on that ground and that ground alone that I put Muhammad Rafi at number one and I put him above Kishore Kumar. It can be a debate. Not willing to go there because it's a personal choice. I'm not putting factors on which I'd rate one greater than the other. Probably, I grew up listening to a lot of songs of the 50s, the 60s, and the early 70s, when there was a lot more of Rafi into my ears than Kishore Da. By then, I had begun to discern the, the, the variety of music and film songs and therefore I was not in awe of it and I was just following them. Could be a reason. But to me, the greatest Hindi film singer is Muhammad Rafi and what a personality. I defy, I'd like anyone who knows me to send me one picture of Rafi Saab when he's not smiling. Born December 24, 1924 in Kotla, Punjab, died 31st July 1980 at the age of 56. He not only sang in Indian languages which included Konkani, Assamese, Bhojpuri, Odia, Punjabi, Bengali, Marathi, Sindhi, Kannada, Gujarati, Tamil, Telugu, Magi, Maithili. He also sang in foreign languages including English, Parsi or Farsi or Persian, Sinhalese and Dash. He worked with Naushad. First song for Naushad was Hindustan Ke Hum Hai for the film Pehle Aap in 1944. His first song for the duo was the soundtrack from the movie Anmol Gadi in 1946. Then came the big super hit Baiju Bhavra. O Dunia Ke Rakhwale Man Tarpat Hari Darshan Kwaj furthered his credentials as a singer par excellence. He ended singing about 149 songs for Naushad, at that time, remember, the ratios and the numbers of songs those days were a tad different because the number of films were less. 81 of them were solos for Naushad Saab. Before Rafi, Naushad's favorite singer was Talat Mahmood. Once Naushad found Talat smoking during a recording, he was annoyed and he hired Rafi to sing all the songs in Baiju Babra. The rest, as they say, as a cliche goes, is history. He worked with S.D. Burman. He was uh, the voice of Devanand and Gurudat. He worked with Burman for 37 films, including Pyasa, Kagas Ke Pool, Kala Bazaar, Naudo Gyara, Kala Pani, Tere Ghar Ke Samne, Guide, Aradhana, Ishq Par Zor Nahi, and Abhiman. It is said, and I don't know, I've read it somewhere, that Rafi Saab had to make this annual trip to London, and Shakti Samanta had to finish with all the songs in the film. And that is how the song Mere Sapno Ki Rani went to Kishore Kumar. And after that, Kishore was, went all guns blazing and Rafi had to stay on and see Kishore definitely take, for, take over from him as the Mughal of Hindi film music. He worked with Shankar Jai Kishan, not, how do I say? Uh, Shami Kapoor, Rajendra Kumar, Shashi Kapoor, Joy Mukherjee, name them what songs. Out of the six Filmfare Awards Rafi won, three were from Shankar Jai Kishan. 
Remember, with Mukesh too, it was Shankar Jaikishan with Mukesh, though two of them, I told you, uh, Sanyasi and Bay, uh, one of the films, Sanyasi and I think the other film was Pechan, uh, were not the songs that really got great credit to either the music director or the singer, but it got them the awards. Tere pyari pyari surat ko kisi ki nazar na lag jaye, baharo phool barsao, dil ke jharo koon mein for Shami Kapoor, Yahu chahe koi mujhe was cult. Rafi matched the fast-paced orchestra composition of Shankar Jaikishan. He gave playback for Kishore Kumar in films like Shararat. Rafi sang about 341 songs of which 216 were solos for Shankar Jaikishan. Among the other combina of the combination of the films, Basant Bahar, Professor, Jangli, Asli Nakli, Raj Kumar, Suraj, Brahmachari, Arzu, An Evening in Paris, Dil Tera Divana, Yakin, Prince, Love in Tokyo, Beti Bete, Dilek Mandir, Vilipnar, Preet Parai, Gaban, and Japyar Kisi Se Hota Hai. Works with my namesake, Ravi. Ravi. Ravi got his first Filmfare Award for a perfect Hindi film song. The music was great. It was composed by Ravi. It was picturized as if it was for her that the lyrics were written by Sahir. The song, Chaudhvi ka chand ho ya aap taab ho, jo bhi ho tum khuda ki kasam la jawab ho. While Gurudath could have been saying that to Vahida Rahman on stream, I think music directors and music lovers would always say that to the melody of the song that was purely magic of Muhammad Rafi. He received a national award for the song Babul Ki Duayin Leti Ja from the film Neel Kamal, also composed by Ravi. Rafi wept during the recording of the song because he sang the song immediately after his daughter's marriage. He's, Rafi and Ravi produced several other songs from films like Chinatown, Kajal, Chulenedo Nazu Khontoko, very popular alcohol song from Kajal, Do Badan, Ek Pool, Do Mali, etc. I find that normally people associate Madan Mohan with Lata Mangeshkar. You must look at the Madan Mohan Muhammad Rafi combination. Hamishk me barbad, hem barbad rahenge from Anke. They teamed up for Teri Ankhon ke Siva, Chirag, Ye Dunya Ye Mehfal. Tum jo mil gai ho, kur chule hum, kar chale hum fida jana tan saati ho, meri awaz suno, pyaar ka raas suno, aap ke pehlu mein aakar ro diye. Wonderful songs. Thus tak comes to my mind. We won't go through all that. With Opi Nair, they gel like magic. He and Rafi created some great songs. Ye hai Bombay meri jaan. Then there is Opie Nair's famous Manumora Bhavara in the film Ragini. Incidentally, Kishore Kumar is on screen. Mohammad Rafi is singing for Kishore Kumar, Manumora Bhavara. Later, Rafi sang for Kishore Kumar in film, films like Bagi, Shehzada, and Shararat. Opie Nair used the Rafi Asha combination to greatness. Naya Daur, Tumsa Nahi Deka, Ek Musafir Ek Asina, Kashmir Ki Kali. Rafi sang 197 numbers for Opi Nair, of which 57 was, 56 are solos. The songs, Javaniya Ye Mast Mast, and the title song, Yun Toh Hamne Laak Haseen Deke Hain, from Tumsa Nahi Deka. They were followed by Tarif Karun Kya Uski, from Kashmir Ki Kali, amazing combination. Lakshmi Kant Pyare Lal. Their very first song by him for the film Paras Mani in 1963, Wo Jab Yaad Aaye, Bohut Yaad Aaye was a brilliant winner. Won them the Filmfare Award for the film Dosti Chahunga Mein Tujhe Saan Savere. Lakshmi Khan, Parilal and Rafi and uh, Mohammad Rafi have done innumerable songs. I'm not even listing them for you. He was always thinking as a, that he was a part of the Lakshmi Pyare team. He sang brilliant songs for Kalyan Jianandji. Other people with whom other music directors would include Roshan, Jaydev, Khayam, Rajesh Roshan, Ravindra Jain, Bappi Lari, Sapan Jagramohan. 
Usha Khanna, Soni Komi, Chitra Gupt, S. Tripathi, N. Datta, R. D. Burman. You named the music director of his times and he sang for them. Had a tiff with Lata Mangeshkar on whether a musician was entitled to a royalty and he said no while Lata Mangeshkar insisted. And also they said to have had a dispute on the song from the film Maya. The situation worsened when Lata declared she would no longer sing with Rafi. Rafi stated that he was only so keen to sing with Lata as she was with him. It is probably the only controversy in the entire lifetime of Muhammad Rafi. It was later said that it was Jay Kishan who bo broke a peace between the two of them and got them back. He won six Filmfare Awards, which include Chaudhvi Ka Chand Ho, 1960, Shankar Jai Teri Pyari Pyari Surat Ko, 1961, Sasural, Shankar Jai Kishan. Chahunga Mai Tujhe San Savere Dosti, Lakshmi Kan Pyare Lal. Baharo Pool Barsao, again, Shankar Jai Kishan. Dil Ke Jaro Ke Mai Tujko Bitaakar Brahmachari, Shankar Jai Kishan. Kya Hua Tera Baada, Hum Kisi Se Kam Nahi. This was almost at the fag end of his career for R.D. Burman. Rafi received a silver medal from the Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on the first anniversary of Indian independence in, but I will come back to something about the Rafi Nehru connection. Honored with the Padma Shri in, in 1967, he was honored with the best singer of the Millennium Award in 2001 by Hero Honda and Stardust magazine. Rafi won the CNN IBN poll for the greatest voice in Hindi cinema. My five faves. I'm going to give you six. Rafi Saab, I'm going to take that in that liberty of adding that extra song and I have a reason. This extra song is not only brilliantly written by Khefi Azmi, the tone is magnificently said by Madan Mohan and the lyrics is an ode to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Meri awaz suno, pyar ka raag suno. Maine ek jo pool mere sine se laga rakha hai. It's an amazing song from the film Naunihal. Now, from five onwards, I will have at five, an Usha Khanna number, picturized on Anil Dhaban, the film Honeymoon, the song Din Hai Ye Bahar Ke, not a very popular song, not a chart buster. Din Hai Ye Bahar Ke, Phool Chun Le Pyaar Ke, Ho Saati, Ho Saati, Ho Saati, Ho Saati, Ho At four, will be yet another not very popular Shankar Jai Kishan song. Considering there is such a huge uh, collection of Shankar Jai Kishan and Sh uh, Rafi Saab, I am picking this for a variety of reasons. This is amazing level at which he sings the song and uh, also probably sometimes you know songs like Chaudhvi ka chand ho ya zindagi bhar nahi bunenge wo basat ki raat jo vada kiya wo nibhana padega songs from Jungli, songs from uh, Love in Tokyo, songs from uh, Ek Musafir Ek Haseena, uh, An Evening in Paris. You've heard them so many times that a part of the magic seems to go because of the repeat. This song, not very popular, maybe that is one of the reasons why it's there in my all-time favorite list. The film is Seema, the music director, Shankar Jaikishan. This is the Seema, which is uh, not the one which has uh, Balrat Sani and Nutan, but this is one which has Simi Girival, and the song is picturized on Kabir Bedi. <laughs> Udas hota hai 
जाने को नास पास होता है जब ये दिल उदास होता है द नेक्स्ट ओपी नायर द फिल्म वो स्टार्टेड टू स्टार गुरुदत्त had to be replaced because guru dat's untimely death so we have the debonair looking dharmender kamal and on whom between the two heroines of the film mala sinha and tanuja on with all his charm he is singing aapke haseen rukh pe aaj naya noor hai mera dil machal gaya to mera kya kusoor hai film bahare phir bhi aayi leaves us the two more ruffy i would be robbing proper analysis if i don't get in a top class classical rendition from muhammad ruffy i would be doing injustice if i don't get a qawali if i don't get a light song and all that but i'm going to get in a classical song for a variety of reasons for multiple reasons one is the song in itself is a brilliant one one is an all time fave of mine three Naushad has to find a place in the collection of Muhammad Rafi, and look at this. Written by a Muslim, music is by a Muslim, rendered by a Muslim, a song of Indian classical music about Hari God, Mantar Pat Hari Darshan Kwaj, the film, the Bayju Babra. these are voices that we thought will always remain with us but then they don't death they said conquered even walter so will it be with mohammad rafi and that is why probably it was said itna hi up kar samajh koi जितना साथ निभा जन्म मरण का मेल है सपना ये सपना बिछड़ा मन रे तू का धीर धरे माई नंबर वन मोहम्मद रफी सॉन्ग चित्रलेखा मन रे तू काहे न धीर धरे थैंक यू इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग सेशन ऑफ म्यूजिक आई डिट नो आई गोइंग टू मेक सच अ लॉन्ग प्रेजेंटेशन बट आई हैव टू डील विथ फाइव ग्रेट सिंगर्स दे माइल स्टोन्स एंड आई डिसाइडेड टू गिव यू फाइव टॉप सॉन्ग्स ऑफ एटलीस्ट फोर ऑफ दे एंड सो thanks for bearing up with me please do send in your comments i'll sign off but before doing that acknowledge abhinav for his editing at a later point in time and my cinematographer my photographer for taking the pictures dattu thank you very much i sign off good day